What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic here with Majestex. So a few months ago, I did a video on how to control your TV using the Google Home and the IFTTT app. Well, a couple months ago, Google actually released direct support with the Logitech Harmony Hub. So now you can actually control your TV using just the Google Home and the Harmony Hub. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how you set that up, so stay tuned. So ever since the Google Home was released, Google has been in a race to try to catch up with the Amazon Echo, especially when it comes to home automation. So now that the Google Home links directly with the Harmony Hub, that means you don't have to use IFTTT or SmartThings in order to control your TV with your voice. Now it's important to note that linking the Google Home directly with the Harmony Hub is only supported in the US only right now, so if you're in another region, this may not work for you. So there are a bunch of different ways that you can link the Google Home with the Harmony Hub, but I'm gonna cover the three major ways. The first way that you can do it is linking them directly, which I'll show you in a little bit. Another way is to use IFTTT, and I did make a video on how to do that a couple months ago, so I will put a link for that video in the description for you. And the third way is using Samsung SmartThings, which I did do a video on as well. If you're interested in that, that's gonna be in part three of the Home Automation Guide. I will also put a link for that in the description as well. So let's start with the pros and cons of using a direct connection. One good thing is that it's way, way easier to set up, which I'll show you in a little bit. Another cool thing is that you can directly control things like volume up, volume down, pause, and a bunch of other functions with just your voice. So as you can see, there's a lot of good things about connecting these hubs directly, but there is one major con, and that's that you can only connect it to one hub at a time. So that definitely sucks. Now there are pros and cons to using IFTTT as well. One of the good things is that you can actually control more than one hub with it. Another cool thing about using IFTTT is that you can use a custom phrase, so you can say whatever you want to trigger the Harmony Hub, and then you can have the Google Assistant say whatever you want in response to your request. Now when it comes to using smart things to link these hubs, it also allows you to connect to more than one hub if you want. It's also gonna be pretty easy to set up since it's just gonna show all of your Harmony activities as switches and smart things. And then of course you can have certain sensors trigger your activity. So if you wanna like turn on a light or open a door or something like that, you can have that trigger one of your Harmony activities. Now one of the downsides to using IFTTT or smart things is that you can't easily control things like volume, mute previous channel or favorite channels. Hey Google, turn on basement TV. Sure, here's Harmony. Turning on basement TV. All right, so we set up the activity to turn down the lights. So the lights just dim down and it's gonna go ahead and turn the TV and the projector on. So it's gonna take a second for the projector to warm up. So the lights are actually turned down to about 3% right now in the basement. So notice I said turn on basement TV. I didn't say ask Harmony to. So you can set it up to say whatever you want. Hey Google, ask Harmony to turn on ESPN. Turning on ESPN. Hey Google, ask Harmony to turn up the volume. Sure, here's Harmony. Increasing the volume. All right, so by default, it's gonna increase your volume by seven steps. Um, so this can actually be changed if you want. If you go into the Harmony app, you can actually change that amount. Depending on the type of device you have, it might be better for you to have that number higher or lower, but alternatively, you could tell it whatever number of steps you want. Hey Google, Ask Harmony to increase the volume by 17. Sure, here's Harmony. Increasing the volume by 17. So as you see, you can tell it whatever number you want to increase the volume. Hey Google, ask Harmony to mute the TV. Sure, here's Harmony. Muting volume. Hey Google, ask Harmony to turn to channel 15. So as you can see, you can tell it to tune to whatever channel you want. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the activity. I'm gonna ask it to turn off the TV. And when I do that, it's actually gonna turn the lights back up because I have Harmony set up to turn on the basement lights once the activity ends. Hey Google, turn off basement TV. Sure, here's Harmony, turning off basement TV. All right, so the projector is turning off and the lights just came up, everything's off. So it looks like that works perfectly. 
So there's two simple methods that you can use to connect the Logitech Harmony Hub with the Google Home. The first way is to just say, okay, Google, ask Harmony to link my account. Once you do that, that's gonna trigger a card within the Google Home app that's gonna allow you to link your Harmony Hub. The other way is to link the app manually. So maybe you're not near your Google Home or something like that. So you can do this by opening the Google Home app, go to settings, more settings, assistant apps, and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you get to Harmony, then tap on that and hit the link button. So once you do that, it's gonna ask you to log into your Harmony account. Now this is assuming you've already set up your Harmony Hub. If you're not sure how to do that, I did just recently do a video on how to set up the Hub. So do check that video out if you need to. So once you put in your Harmony credentials in there, it's gonna ask you which hub you wanna to connect to. And again, the Google Home is only gonna allow you to connect to one Harmony hub. So once you choose your hub, it's gonna ask you to set up some friendly names for your activities. This is really important because when you're using your voice to trigger these activities, you definitely wanna make sure you have different variants of phrases. So you can make sure you throw all those friendly names in there to help you out. And once you do that, it's gonna ask you to do the same thing for your favorite channels. So you definitely wanna set up some favorite channels if you haven't already. This is gonna allow you to easily tune to those channels with your voice. So friendly names for channels are also just as important. So once you set up all your friendly names and everything, you're pretty much done. At that point, you can actually use your Google Home to control your Harmony Hub. Now you will have to say, okay, Google ask Harmony to. So for instance, if one of your activities is Living Room TV, you would have to say, okay, Google ask Harmony to turn on Living Room TV. So obviously that kind of sucks. You definitely don't wanna be forced to say, ask Harmony to every time you wanna control your TV. Well, the easiest way to fix that is to use what are called shortcuts. Now setting up shortcuts is is gonna take some extra time, but it's well worth it once you do it. So to get to your shortcuts within the Google Home app, you're gonna to go to settings, more settings and shortcuts. And then you're just gonna click the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So once you hit the plus sign, you'll be asked to enter up to five shortcut phrases, and then you can enter the actual phrase that's gonna trigger the activity. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of different phrases for turning on the TV. You can put all those different phrases in there, and then at the bottom, you're actually gonna put the real phrase that's gonna trigger the activity. And by the way, these shortcuts do work for any command, so you don't necessarily have to use it just for the Logitech Harmony Hub. So now that you know how to set up all these different methods, you can choose whichever one works best for you. But the cool part is you're not forced to use just one method. So you could actually use the direct connection of the hubs to control like your main TV and your main space, maybe at your living room or something like that. And then you could actually use IFTTT or SmartThings to control the other TVs if you have more than one hub. Now again, you won't be able to do cool things like easily control the volume on those other hubs, but you can use those advanced features on one of your hubs. Now I did think it would be pretty cool to be able to use these functions on a smartphone that has Google Assistant on it, but unfortunately it's not supported on smartphones yet, but Google has mentioned that it might be available in the future. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and mash that like button for me. I will be posting Amazon affiliate links to some of these products for you to check them out if you're interested in buying them. Post your comments and your questions in the comments section. I'll respond to your questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.